Hi everybody, welcome. This is episode six of my training form, preparing for ultra marathons. Now, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I am doing this to document my journey from someone who kind of likes running a little bit, shortish distances to someone who is ready for, uh, to take on some ultra marathons. Now I have three ultra marathons that I'm preparing for. They start at the end of August, uh, the Rat Race Seat to Summit series. All of those are over 30 miles, 6,000 foot of ascent. Um, and, and I'm nowhere near ready yet. Um, week on week, I've been trying to increase my miles, bring you guys along uh, to my Sunday long hilly run. And we talk about some of the things to consider when preparing for these types of events. Um, today, I am here at Rutland Water. I'm on the south shore of Rutland Water at Normanton Church. Um, the idea today is that I'm gonna do a perimeter run all the way around Rutland Water. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because it's uh, I need 15 miles out of today and the perimeter of Rutland Water is almost exactly 15 miles. So I don't need to think about it. A couple of weeks ago, I went to Borough Hill, tried to get 30 miles out of it. I got completely lost. It took blooming ages. Um, so at least today, I don't have to think too hard about where I'm going. I just follow the path. Now you would think um, that a perimeter path of a reservoir um, would be quite flat and comparatively yes it is compared to some of the other runs I've done um, but it is quite undulating at times so I'll still get gassed at various points um, fingers crossed for a lovely run because uh, it's just such a lovely morning it's about 6 45 here um, at Edith Weston so um, all I need to do is get around the sort of the edge of this little this little pond here and then off home for some breakfast all right let's go so, Rutland Water, one of the uh, biggest reservoirs around for a long, long way. Uh, has a peninsula in the middle, and you can make this 15 mile loop, uh, 22, by incorporating it. That, that there is the tip of it, um, but it goes back quite a way. Plus, you're going to get all the way around to the other side to even get onto it. Um, the church we were just at um, used to be a full-size church and that's just the very top of it that's left after the rest was sort of sunk beneath the reservoir it is now a, uh, a really lovely um, wedding venue that I've been to quite a few times uh, at this time of the day on a Sunday there is not a soul about here just the rabbits and the marine life and it's lovely and that is in part because the car parks don't open till nine <laughs> and it's 6 45 now <laughs> yeah this is the best time of day due to rain later but look at it now oh my gosh <laughs> i'm a bit hot though <laughs> it's all right one of the uh, one of the great reasons for doing this, as well as not getting lost or any of that business, is that every car park on the way round there's a toilet and an ice cream van. Yeah, buddy, get me an ice cream today. Yeah. <laughs> so, have four miles in now, um, and we've reached a sailing club over here, but. More fun looking is the Aqua Park over here. Um, I went to this a few years back, it was just a few bits in the middle, but now it has evolved into something quite extraordinary looking. Okay, so like I said, there's quite a bit of gradient on this North Shore, and this particular car park has a great little bit. Now, having rode this bit on my bike a few times, I know that was about 100 meters of uh, up. Uh, hell, hell alert, hell alert. Just got up. So, here at Barnsdale on the North Shore, there's a bit of a, a hump, a little mini hill. Uh, so much so that you're not supposed to ride your bike up or down it. I mean, everybody does, but. <laughs> So we're going to go down it now. Uh, okay, so you might notice looking at me that although I'm wearing a pack, I don't have the pipe, so I don't have a bladder on me right now. So I don't have easy access to water. Um, I do have a bottle in my bag, just saying. 
Um, but that's because uh, I don't own a bladder at the minute. I um, haven't owned one in a while. I'm a bit rubbish at looking after them, so they eventually go manky. So I'm hoping to get a new one for my birthday. Um, but in addition to that, I'm also trying different packs. I own a, a variety of backpack, like running packs. Um, this one is a carry more one, uh, sort of on the cheaper side. Um, and I don't think it's necessarily right for ultras. It's already rubbing me here. It sits outside of my running vest. Uh, so it's touching directly on the skin. So yes, I think by 15 miles, my body will be well done with this particular pack. Orangey. Mm -hmm. some sheep. I didn't win. They won. We are at the bit of the peninsula where the peninsula actually touches the land. It goes out that way and it's quite a hilly little route. If I went that way now it would add seven miles of the Hamilton Peninsula. Um, but I'm not doing that today. I need 15 so I'm going to go this way, cut that whole bit off, perhaps come back at a later date when I need those extra miles when I'm up to 22 miles and come back and add that bit. I've done it before. It is quite a uh, a long run, it feels like a long run. Uh, wind's just picked up, sun's gone in. Less nice than when I started. So, one of the things I wanted to talk about on this particular run is what I did last weekend. I didn't release a video last weekend. It would have been my 14 miler uh, episode, but had something on the diary already, one of those things, and it was the Spartan Trifecta weekend at the Beaver Castle, the Midlands event. So on the Saturday, I did a 14 mile assault course two hours 33 really quite pleased with that considering how many obstacles there were like 30 strength and endurance and uh, skill based obstacles to sort of tackle uh, had a bit of a mischief on my car hopping over a fence I got a cramp in it that literally felled me right there um, and and for about the next hour it was it was it felt like there was a tennis ball in it I muddled on I even came back the next day did the seven mile and the four mile race and very much enjoyed those two uh, but the day after that every day uh, every morning getting out of bed it felt tight difficult to walk initially hard to get down the stairs and i've been sort of nursing it all week i've done one run this week on wednesday which was kind of a, a recovery run i suppose and i'm being very mindful that i want to avoid injury uh, over the next sort of uh, six weeks or so because uh, two months from now I will be looking up at the bottom of Ben Nevis thinking, holy moly, i uh, got to get up that now. So one of the other things that I've wanted to talk about is other exercises you can do to make ultramarathons easier. Not easier, but more manageable, more, so you're more prepared. Um, and that's exercising the other side of the coin, strength. Uh, it's a bit of a dirty word to sort of runners, as, as is cardio to those guys. but adding one day a week where you're doing weighted squat resistance exercises on your legs, big quad movements, compound movements that, that utilize your quads, the ones that are going to be powering you up those hills, those mountains, uh, at least one day of that, 45 minutes to an hour's worth of relatively intense exercise, squats, lunges, sled push, anything that gets the quads burning. Uh, my Mondays, that was used to be my 10K runs, um, now I'm doing sort of big miles on the Sunday. I have to do something else on the Monday. So I've been doing the Stairmaster, the sort of reverse escalator, the um, conveyor belt type thing. Uh, the idea is that this simulates going uphill, upstairs. I do about 150 to 200 floors in, in a sitting, which is about 40 minutes of effort. Compared, compare that to say a building, how many flights of stairs that is. That's anywhere between the, the sort of, uh, uh, Trade Centre 1 in New York, the Burj Khalifa, or even the new uh, Kingdom Tower that's being built. Bob, uh, any other day I'd be in there, right here. Not today. As I approach the half marathon, you come down this downhill, this sweet, sweet downhill, looking over the water, it's great. 
not far now, two miles to go. Okay, so this is one of the fungulating hills that you have to deal with on the Rutland Water Loop. Now, today, while uh, I might not exceed 500 feet of ascent, tomorrow on the Stairmaster, I'll do 200 stairs. So, um, but there is still undulation to contend with here. Um, today is mainly about getting the miles done. Um, a wise man once said to me, when I was going through a hill training phase, never neglect the flat, never neglect your flat running. It's the only place where you are truly at equilibrium. Every bit of force you put in uh, propels you forward. Ups and downs, it's effort and rest, effort and rest. Just bear that in mind when you, if you're only training hills. <laughs> There's plenty of flat bits in ultra marathons too. Now it's at this point where I start jonesing for my post run treat, like my immediately after. Uh, and I always start jonesing for it about now, just before the end. Uh, and everyone's got kind of a different end of run treat. Um, the thing that makes me feel better is a can of full sugar coke, the red one, ice cold, two of them. <laughs> Whenever I've done my big runs, that's the thing I go in search for, or delegate someone to go search for me. What's your, uh, what's your favorite post-run, immediately post-run beverage snack? Oh, might be an ice cream, might be a beer, <laughs> might be a glass of uh, champagne, I don't know. <laughs> Put it in the comments, let me know. Okay. Ah, back where we started. Ah, ah so sweaty. <laughs> okay, that is a full circumference of Rutland Water. <clears throat> okay, so that concludes this week's run. Uh, it's about 16 miles all in uh, with the run back to the car. I have sourced some Coca Cola. My after run fix has been satisfied. Um, next week I will be in South Wales. Obviously Wales is notoriously flat so I'm never going to find any gradient there am I? Um, I hope to get a 14, 15, 16 mile run there but I am on holiday, have to bear that in mind. I will run what I can run. Um, after The week after that I'll be going down to Nuclear Fit to take in some of that. So I don't know what my running will look like that week. Um, so, um, give the channel a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video soon. Right, Martel.